Hello, I'm Gabriella Dukes and today we're at Steel Town Coffee in Port Albert for episode two of The Cauldron. We're here to unravel the magic behind the Tata Steel Wizards League, a community initiative here in Port Albert by Abarav RFC, sponsored by Tata Steel, that has been established for 10 years and is reignited now after COVID. The league is where 15 primary schools are taking the field or the court in both netball and rugby. And joining me to tell us all about it is Sharon Walters, the driving force behind the Wizards Netball Club. And of course, Mike Dyer, the man leading the way at Aberavon Schoolboys. So welcome both. Welcome Thank to you. the Cauldron. Great Thank to you. have you. Great I guess you. you've both been a part of the initiative for a while. Both have probably different experiences in, in both the netball and rugby side. Can you tell me a bit about what the initiative is to start with then? Yeah, it's a um, great opportunity for children in Port Talbot and the Britain Ferry area to uh, represent their school in rugby or netball. Um, obviously, it's been going for 10 years and after a three year break due to COVID, it's great to see it back and it's giving these children the opportunity they deserve. And it's, it's important, isn't it? For oh, massively, massively. Um, it gives them a good uh, insight into what sport is and, you know, competitive edge. Um, and just to see the girls then moving on with the netball into comp and the same with the boys. Um, and a number of the girls have gone on and are now playing adult league netball, which is, uh, is fantastic to see. Brilliant. So what opportunities then does the league initiative provide? I think um, without this funding, um, there'd be lack of opportunities, really, because not only have they had uh, kit this year, they've had the transport covers, and we know uh, costs for schools are getting really tight. So they get the transport over to Clandarcy, the independent, independent referees, um, and it's their chance to represent their school in either rugby or netball, um, play play with friends, play against their club mates, um, which is, you see some good banter in the uh, last round, especially when Cumbronville played uh, central. <laughs> yeah, you, it's to see the girls having the opportunity to have that chance and like the boys as well to, to play against each other and just, I think, the whole environment as well of going over to Clan Darcy and having a great facility over there. Um, we use, um, for the netball, we use a lot of the girls who are in the comps in the area. So they get the experience then of um, taking charge of games. And I'm just there to support it, really, which is, is good. Definitely. And you were mentioning there about the funding. That comes from Abrav and RFC and Tata Seal as a sponsor. How important is it to have, I guess, these local big big companies, big um, organisations involved in providing those opportunities for children? Yeah, it wouldn't happen otherwise because um, the schools don't have the money to be able to to get them to these, you know, to other schools to play against them. So to go to one venue and all play against each other um, and then a lot of those children then go and play for clubs. So they play in with against their friends or with their friends, which is great. And if we didn't have that funding, this wouldn't happen. Yeah, and... Like, I look at it now, for example, seeing co bus costs, um, it's breaking down those barriers. Um, and you look rugby and netball-wise, it's probably 30, 35 children, maybe a little bit less, um, out each week or every now and then, having that opportunity to represent their school um, is fantastic. And it gives them the opportunity to be active, healthy, and with the competitive edge. Um, so it's great to see those children develop. And it's important as well, like you mentioned there, not to only have the physical benefits of taking part in a sport, but those mental benefits, um, and I guess life lessons that you learn through taking part in sport as well, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think they learn so much from it and they get better because they've been put into that environment. So they turn up in Clandarcy and are like, wow, I can't believe these facilities we've got. Um, and every time you see them, then you see the, the teams getting better and just the encouragement we, we need to get people back into sport, maybe. Yeah, you see uh, children showing some individual good skills, got to work as a team, got to show some resilience as well. When it, the fixture isn't going their way, it's easy to be all happy and oh, to have people on the back when everything is going their way. But when you've got to dig in, got to look around, sometimes you ask children to write it down, but 
you actually physically got to do um, and show your capabilities then. And you know, we, have, we mentioned that the initiative has been going for 10 years. Have you seen any maybe success stories yourselves from the children that have taken part maybe back back then and where they are now? Yeah, I got a number of girls who have joined my local club um, and have gone on to play in university um, and are playing over in a senior league over in Swansea. So, yeah, if you if I was to bring those girls in and ask them, they would say they started in netball playing for the, the Wizards League. Yeah, and uh, like I look now currently at the Aberavon side, uh, you've got the likes of Reese Thomas, uh, Frankie Jones, who are now playing for Aberavon week in, week out. St- had that opportunity representing Reese, um, was obviously in Central and then um, went to Dufferin where they had the Boys League as well. And uh, Frankie was had that opportunity from a young age. Um, I've seen myself working in the comps the children now when you're seven, eight and nine who haven't quite had this opportunities are probably missed out. Um, so we're playing a bit of catch up then when it comes to the games. And from your perspective then, why did you both get involved in this in the first place? Where did your story start with the Wizards League? Um, for me, I, it was the girls who have gone on to senior netball and uh, university netball. Um, they started playing with the Wizards League and then they've come to club. And I just think if I can provide something and support in this area for sport, just in general, um, by helping out, it's just great to see so many children involved in sport and having that opportunity, really. I first got involved um, just helping out refereeing um, at the festivals for Chris and Aberavon. Um, it's great and now being involved with not only Aberavon schools, uh, 11s, 15s and 16s, I just think it's great opportunities for these kids. Um, it's my chance to give back to um, the kids and it's great to see them have these opportunities. Yeah, it's incredible. And I'm sure when I, when, when I was back in school, I remember people being part of that. My brother's been a part of Aberavon School Points at, at one point as well. And he's, you know, thrived in rugby since then. So I know how beneficial it is for kids. The league is about to start again. How, how exactly does it work? You mentioned that it's in Flandarsi, but what is involved in, I guess, in, in those fixture days? So what we decided this year was that they were going to do it in the cluster areas um, in relation to the comps. So the primary schools were split into three, three groups. Th- three groups, yeah. yeah. Three rounds. Um, and they've all played each other in those. So there's been five teams in each. Um, and then the top team then is going to go into a cup. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's going to be a bowl plate. and a plate. So they're all going to get to play different schools now and from not from their cluster area, which I think is great for them to have that. Yeah. Um, obviously, we talked about it being good for a bit of transition and with it being first in their cluster areas, but it also now gives some schools who may have struggled in round one, but round two or three now, they're going to find their feet. So the games would be a bit more competitive, but um, it also gives those children an opportunity to play against people who they may not know. And it's like, for example, round one, Coyt Hirwine and Cumbron Mill shared a bus and the singing on the way back was great. Um, some lovely tunes being sung. Um, and maybe when they go to round two now, different schools will get together and have that bit of competition as well. And again, that's, a, that's another benefit of it, is that they mix in with other people from from other schools as well. Maybe they wouldn't have a chance to before. So I guess that's another added benefit as well as the competitive stuff that you're talking about, win, getting to win maybe plates and cups and stuff. That's important. Yeah, really important. I mean, you know, you just want to see them enjoying, but also then you can see the ones who are wanting to win and then the ones who just are come along just to give it a go. I mean, for the netball, they walked in and the first thing they said was, wow, I can't get over how large the court is because it's a full-size court over in Clandarcy. I think the same happened with some of the boys going into the barn as well. Yeah, and they obviously see the barn is somewhere where um, the Ospreys have trained. So when you're explaining to the kids, oh, I get an opportunity here and hopefully... Um, they get that taste. I know for a couple of schools, uh, I've seen 
players transition into their local clubs, which is really important after um, round one games because it, it makes the club sites stronger and Aberavon's always been good support for them, local clubs in the area. Yeah, brilliant. Well, it's a brilliant initiative and it's so great to see it back after COVID um, and hopefully continue to gain strength to strength um, with support from Aberavon and Tata Steel, of course. And if you'd like information about the Tata Steel Wizards League, you can head to the Aberavon RFC website to find out a bit more about the leagues, the dates that they're on. Um, but thank you both for, for joining me. Thank great you. to have you. No problems. Thank you very much. Thank you.